A rock drops from the top of a tower to the ground in three seconds. Downwards is positive. First question, calculate the velocity of the rock just before it hits the ground. Okay, so here we go. Here's our tower. Let's take the, the, the Paris Tower, Eiffel Tower. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's an ugly Eiffel Tower. Okay, but imagine we are dropping a rock from the top. Okay, there's someone is hanging over dropping a rock. That is completely illegal because I'm sure you can kill someone. But this whole journey takes three seconds. Okay, according to the question. And they ask us calculate the velocity of the rock just before it hits the ground. So let's see what do we do now. We do know that initial velocity is zero, constant acceleration or gravitational acceleration is 9.8 meters per second squared. And we are asked, uh, we have the delta t, that's the delta t, we are asked to find final velocity, in other words the velocity just before it hits the ground. Um, and they, that means we need a formula with initial velocity, acceleration, change in time, and future velocity. And here we go. That's the one. I hope you immediately recognized it. It's a very common one to use. That is going to be the velocity, uh, the motion formula that we are going to use. So we have that future velocity is equal to initial velocity plus A times delta T. Let's substitute in there. Okay, this is going to be very easy. We don't even need to solve anything since that is zero. That is 9,8 meters per second and the change in time is 3. 3 times 9.8. Let's calculate that. 3 times 9.8. So all we need to calculate 29.4 meters per second. 29,4 meters per second. And I'm going to leave it there.